Hi viewers, welcome to Naresh Technologies. This is Srinivas. In the last session, so we discussed the basic concepts of data types and today first discussion about a first data type. Integer data type divides into 6 classifications. So, now the first classification is a short type short again divided into two sub classifications right. So, already we discussed here it is signed data type and second one is a unsigned data type. Short is a data type used to store an integer value right and here it is divided into two types signed and unsigned. So, what is a signed data type and what is a unsigned data type means using signed we can store only a positive value, but using signed data type a positive value and a negative value also we can store using unsigned we can store only positive value right. And what is the size of short either it is a signed short or it is unsigned short it occupies 2 bytes memory. How many bytes it occupies 2 bytes memory. Sir so, using 2 bytes memory so what is the minimum value we can store and what is the maximum value we can store. Just look at the memory allocation process here suppose 2 bytes memory I am taking this is the first byte this is the first byte I am taking first byte and this is a second byte is a second byte. So, using 2 bytes memory what is the minimum value we can store right. So, the data will be stored in the form of binary values. So, if you place all our zeros all are zeros the minimum value is a 0 and the maximum value what is the maximum value we can store using 2 bytes memory using 2 bytes memory is we need to place all ones all are ones this is the value is a 65535. 65535. So, using 2 bytes memory a minimum value a minimum integer value we can store is a 0 and the maximum integer value we can store is a 65535 right. So, here it is a simply how can we understand means is a 2 bytes means 1 byte is equals to 8 bit 1 byte is equals to 8 bits. So, 2 bytes is nothing but a 16 bit. So, we have to calculate 2 power 16 value. 2 power 16 value is a 65536, but here it is a storing value starts with a 0. So, here it is a 0 to 65535. 65535. So, what is that unsigned data type and what is a signed data type means? unsigned always stores a positive value. So, the range of unsigned data type is 0 to 65535 here it is 2 bytes. So, we need to find out the value 2 power 16 the value is a 65535 sorry 65536 and here it is a range 0 to 65535 this is a minimum value we can store and this is a maximum value we can store and next one come to this point here it is using 2 bytes using 2 bytes signed data type now what is the minimum value and what is the maximum value here it is 65536 by 2 just divide the value 65536 by 2 if you divide. So, what is the value this is 32768 and here it is 32768 this is half half of 65536. 
So, negative values always starts with a minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 and so on, minus 3, 2, 7, 6, 8 is ok. So, negative values up to minus 3, 2, 7, 6, 8. But here it is a positive values starts with a 0, 1, 2 and so on up to 3, 2, 7, 6, 7 only. Sir, why? Because we have to include 0 also, right? 0 plus 3, 2, 7, 6, 7. So, total 3, 2, 7, 6, 8 values. So, range minus 3, 2, 7, 6, 8 to plus 3, 2, 7, 6, 7. Plus 3, 2, 7, 6, 7. So, these are the limits of short data type, either signed data type or unsigned data type using signed data type. So, what is the minimum value we can store is a minus 32768 and what is the maximum value we can store is a 32767 and here it is using unsigned short the minimum value we can store is a 0 and the maximum value we can store is a 65535. So, these are the limits of short data type. And next important discussion is in how many ways we can declare the short data type and uh, the format specifiers of a short data type. So, what are these? C. Now, I just want to declare a signed data type variable in my program. A signed data type variable in my program. How? Here, suppose these are signed declarations, signed declarations and followed by unsigned declarations also we will see. See in the declaration of variable, if you do not specify whether the variable is a signed variable or unsigned variable by default that is signed variable, by default that is signed. That means, the variable accepts both a positive value and a negative value that is called signed. Here it is simply you can declare like this variable short a this is declaration of variable variable a is of type short type right here it is suppose if you want to write integer also we can add short integer a these two of type short type only sir where is the signed or unsigned i am not specifying so by default, these two variables are signed variables only. So, here it is, sir, can I write explicitly? Yes, you can signed short a, it is allowed and signed complete declaration, last one, signed short integer a. In these many ways, we can declare a signed variable into your C program. Sir, unsigned declarations, here it is unsigned declarations we must specify explicitly these are unsigned declarations only two ways first one is a unsigned short a and next one unsigned short integer a so these are so total six declarations about a short data type first four comes under signed short declarations and the second means what remaining two declarations comes under unsigned declarations right in these many ways we can declare and the next important thing is format specifier we can also call it as a format string in a c language sir what is a format specifier and what is its importance right if you want to read the information or if you want to display the information formatting is very very important right in which format you have to read the information in which format you have to print the information that you have to specify to the computer so this is called a formatting specifier so that's why the name format specifier simply for all the signed declarations all the four signed declarations the format specifier is percentage D. These are called format specifiers. Format specifiers. And next one for these two, for unsigned declarations, format specifier is a percentage U. Percentage U. These four signed declarations, 
we are processing with the help of the specifier is percentage D and remaining two declarations unsigned declarations we are specifying with a percentage U. These are signed and unsigned declarations of short type and here it is format specifiers we are using. So, based on these, so we will see right the programming on short data type. So, now we will see so some of the examples on a short data type right see. For example, I just want to print a small value on the console here it is we are writing the program execution starts from the main method execution starts from the main method and here it is I am declaring one variable variable is a short variable short a equals to some value 10 we are storing short a equals to 10 and next if you want to clear the screen clr scr clear screen remember clear screen always we need to write after declaration of all the local variables already we discussed in the local variables concept all the local variables of a block you must place in the beginning statements. So, after declaration of all the variables only you have to clear the screen. Next clear screen function is available in a library is a header file c o n i o dot h. So, I am including that and next I want to print. So, what is the function printf function inside the double quotes we have to write that format specifier. What format specifier? Short format specifier by default it is a signed if you do not mention whether a variable is a signed variable or unsigned variable by default it is a signed variable. So, format specifier is a signed format specifier and here we are writing the variable that what you want to print a is a variable we just want to print. So, the value variable value it will print here in this place in this place. So, to this program the output is right 10 on the console it will print the value 10 ok. So, this is a simple program here format specifier is very very important with the help of format specifiers only we are reading the elements and we are printing the elements. Here simply I am declaring one short variable <laughs> right variable va name is a, a with the value 10. So, 10 it will print. Next we will see write some complex programs ok. See so first of all I am writing write the limits of a signed data type I mean signed short data type in the form of circle observe because based on that circle only now we are writing this program observe. Here it is this is a signed short circle limits are a minus 3 2 7 6 8 2 plus 3 2 7 6 7 plus 3 2 7 6 7 these limits I am writing in the form of circle observe in the form of circle we are writing this is signed short circle signed short that is nothing but a percentage D any value you want to count either positive value or negative value starts with a 0 counting always starts with a 0 positive values counting in a clockwise direction. So, like that and the value maximum value is a 3 2 7 6 7 positive values counting in a clockwise direction remember negative values counting in anti clockwise direction minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 and so on up to minus 3 2 7 6 8 some more I am writing minus 3 2 7 6 7 minus 3 2 7 double 6 and so on. See these are negative values in a counter clockwise direction or anti clockwise direction just limits of a short data type I have written 
right in the form of circle now based on this now we will see some programs on a short data type observe here clearly hash include header files I am including stdio.h and one more header file conio.h for clear screen purpose conio.h inside that main inside the main and here it is we are declaring one short variable short x equals to some 32769 we are storing 32769 and here clear screen clear screen and we are printing the message printf percentage d that x value we are printing observe here clearly the statements executes one by one from top to bottom from top to bottom it will execute and here it is execution starts from the main function the first statement execution here it is x gets memory allocation at any location x get memory allocation x get memory allocation but what is the value you are storing 32769 is the value you are storing what is the value 32769 you are storing so based on this it will count 32769 is a positive value na so it starts counting positive values here 1 2 3 4 5 6 like that it will keep on counting 32767 32768 32769 so 32769 value is equals to minus 32767 it will not give any error message it will store one garbage value in the memory so what is the value minus 32767 what is the value minus 32767 will go and store in the memory garbage value next it will clear the screen next we are printing so whenever we are printing x value it has to collect so from this it will collect that x value what is that x value minus 32767 is a x value it will fetch that value from where from the memory it will not look at the declaration area declaration statement already completed throw out no use next we are at the third statement we are printing the x value we are printing the x value so what we are printing minus 32767 we are collecting but it will not print directly what it will do according to the format specifier what format specifier you have given percentage d you have given so percentage d circle it will check sir where is the percentage d circle here it is this is percentage d circle in this circle the value is present or not it will check what is the value minus 32767 value is present or not it will check in this circle yes minus 32767 is there so it will print the value output is a minus 32767 sir here we are violating the rules na right will it give any error messages no error messages it will store one garbage value into the memory remember right that we should understand because we are doing the mistake so we should analyze clear right we'll see one more program see here it is a just like a so this program so we'll see some more complex programs okay see suppose now i'm changing that x value x value to minus 4 x value to minus 4 but here it is explicitly i'm specifying very clearly that this is unsigned short integer unsigned short integer value x value but i am initializing with the value 4 sir actually unsigned will take only positive values now yes but here it is whenever we are trying to assign the negative value according to that circle sir what is that circle now we have to discuss about unsigned circle also so unsigned circle we are writing first the value is a 
जीरो टू सिक्सटी फाइव थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी फाइव दिस इज अनसाइंड रेंज वी डिस्कस ऑलरेडी जीरो टू सिक्सटी फाइव थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी फाइव आई एम जस्ट राइटिंग इन द फॉर्म ऑफ सर्किल सेम वैल्यूज फॉर्म ऑफ सर्किल दिस इज पर्सेंटेज यू इज अनसाइंड सर्किल एंड हियर इट इज अ काउंटिंग स्टार्ट विद जीरो ओनली पॉजिटिव वैल्यूज आर देर थ्री फोर एंड सो ऑन and so on what is the maximum value is a 65535 and some more values 65534 the values we are writing so this is the range just that we are writing that range in the circle same story negative values counting in a anti clockwise direction positive values counting in a clockwise direction one is a clockwise direction and second one is a counter clockwise direction right positive values counting and negative values counting so here now i am trying to store the value minus 4 so as usual first x gets memory allocation x get memory allocation x value is a minus 4 right first x memory will be allocated x memory will be allocated but it has to store the minus 4 value but what we have given unsigned you have given so in which circle it will check in this circle or in this circle this is a signed circle and this is unsigned circle so in this circle it will check in this circle it will check so here it is we need to count that minus 4 value minus 4 is a negative value so minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 4 value is equals to 65532 So in the memory, so what value will go on store is a six double five three two will go on store. Six double five three two will go on store. And now here, so we are printing percentage u. What is the format specifier I have given? Percentage u I have given. Percentage u. So first it will fetch that x value. So what is that x value? please don't look at that first statement in this program because first statement is used to allocate the memory only once you allocate the memory from the second statement wherever you use that variable always it will collect the information from the memory only the best example thing generally for example right i just deposit some amount 8000 rupees into my account today right i visit the bank and i have to write one receipt right for payment and bank management first will follow that receipt to perform the transaction by just look at that receipt so they will deposit 8000 rupees into my account the next day i just want to withdraw 5000 rupees bank management will follow receipt or my amount in the memory the concept is later on so they will collect that information from the memory they will not maintain the receipts in the same way so once you declare the variable once you declare the variable in the first statement which is used to allocate the memory only once memory allocation has been completed from the second statement it will follow the memory only so whenever you are printing x value it will fetch the x value 65532 it will fetch so it will collect that 65532 and directly it will not print again it will check what format specifier you have given what is the format specifier percentage u you have given so percentage u means what in this circle it will check percentage u circle in this circle 65532 is present or not right suppose if it is a present right so then it will print that value s yes, is there na 65532 is present so in the output in the output it will print that message 65532 65532 it will print remember okay and see for example one more thing we'll see this is unsigned value only but i am printing 6 Double five three eight. We are storing. Now the value is six five five thirty eight. 
and we are printing percentage u x and one more we are printing printf percentage d x percentage d x we are printing now observe the concept what value will go and store into the memory is first in the memory what value will go and store so you have given unsign and the value is a 65538 so in which circle it will check in the second circle it will check in the percentage u circle it will check so it will start counting 0 1 2 3 4 and keep on counting 65533 so 65538 value is equals to 2 is equals to 2 so here it is in the memory the value 2 will go and store right it will not store 65538 right so while counting in that circle the value 65538 is equals to 2 right so in the memory now 2 is there so first statement completed next is control come to that second statement clear screen and next that control come to that third statement we are printing x value what is the x value 2 it will collect that value 2 and here it is what format specifier you have given percentage u you have given what is the format specifier percentage u you have given right so percentage u circle it will check in this circle the value 2 is present or not yes the value 2 is present value 2 is present so directly it will print the value 2 output is a 2 here next the control come to that fourth statement again it will fetch that x value from the memory here it is it will collect that x value from the memory that is 2 and next the format specifier it will check what is the format specifier now percentage d is a format specifier so we need to check in the signed circle this is a percentage d circle in this circle 2 is present or not yes of course here it is in this circle also 2 is present in this circle also 2 is present so here also it will print the value 2 it will print the value 2 that's it okay so we'll see one last example just look at this see that example suppose here i'm writing some more things this is 32766 and this is 32765 and this is 32764 32764 now here unsigned i am declaring the va value minus 32772 this is the value i am storing 32772 is the value i am trying to assigning to variable x but x is of type what unsigned remember and here it is we are printing that value printf percentage d x value we are printing and once again we are printing that x value but i want to change the format specifier that is percentage u x value we are printing two times first time we are giving that percentage d and second time we are printing the percentage u but sir what value will go and store into x first x get memory allocation at some location what value will go and store unsigned unsigned value minus 32772 so in a unsigned circle minus 32772 you have to count minus 32772 is a minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 like that minus 32772 you have to count sir it is head egg na yes that's why compare these two just compare these two circles almost same but this is completely positive just this is divided into positive and negative but exactly how many numbers in both the circles are same so while counting so this counting and this counting almost same minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 and so on keep on counting minus 32768 minus 32769 minus 32770 minus 32771 and this is minus 32772 Minus three two seven seven two is equals to three two seven six four. Here it is somewhere. 
थ्री टू सेवन सिक्स फोर विल बी प्रेजेंट इन दिस सर्किल ऑल्सो बोथ सर्किल ऑलमोस्ट सेम सो हियर इट इज माइनस थ्री टू डबल सेवन टू इन प्लेस ऑफ दैट वॉट वैल्यू विल गो ऑन स्टोर थ्री टू सेवन सिक्स फोर विल गो ऑन स्टोर थ्री टू सेवन सिक्स फोर विल गो ऑन स्टोर नाउ वी आर प्रिंटिंग दट एक्स वैल्यू सो एज यूजल इट विल कलेक्ट दट एक्स वैल्यू दिस इज आउटपुट इट विल कलेक्ट दट एक्स वैल्यू वट इज दट एक्स वैल्यू थ्री टू सेवन सिक्स फोर नॉट थ्री टू डबल सेवन टू वट इज द वैल्यू थ्री टू सेवन सिक्स फोर इट विल कलेक्ट आफ्टर कलेक्टिंग थ्री टू सेवन सिक्स फोर वॉट फॉर्मेट स्पेसिफायर यू हैव गिवेन इज ऑल्सो इंपॉर्टेंट वट इज द फॉर्मेट स्पेसिफायर पर्सेंटेज डी पर्सेंटेज डी मीन्स वॉट दिस इज द सर्किल इन दिस सर्किल थ्री टू सेवन सिक्स फोर इज प्रेजेंट आर नॉट ये थ्री टू सेवन सिक्स फोर इज प्रेजेंट सो इट विल प्रिंट थ्री टू सेवन सिक्स फोर ओनली थ्री टू सेवन सिक्स फोर नेक्स्ट अगेन एक्स कलेक्टिंग वट इज दट एक्स वैल्यू थ्री टू सेवन सिक्स फोर बट वॉट फॉर्मेट स्पेसिफायर यू हैव गिवेन पर्सेंटेज यू इज अ फॉर्मेट स्पेसिफायर सी हियर पर्सेंटेज यू इज अ फॉर्मेट स्पेसिफायर इन दिस फॉर्मेट स्पेसिफायर थ्री टू सेवन सिक्स फोर इज प्रेजेंट आर नॉट ये वंस अगेन हियर इट इज देयर so it will print the value once again 32764 it is printing so any relation between input and output no relation we are storing minus 32772 and we are printing x value x value one time we have given percentage d and one time we have given percentage u but nowhere we are getting that output is a minus 32772 so computer processing is a completely different depends on the what values we are storing c language will not provide any compile time errors if you are violating the rules instead of giving error messages right it is producing some unexpected results but remember right in a interview point of view they will ask such type of questions only a simple questions they will never ask whether you are perfect in a data types or not they will ask the questions such type of questions very complex questions they will ask okay so this is the completely about a short data type remaining data types we'll see in the next session so thank you all thank you for watching for more videos please subscribe to narish it